To become an artist whose work is featured in shows and at galleries takes a lot of hard work and dedication. Yeah, that's especially true if you are not, you don't have all functionality in your body, much less if you don't have arms or legs. That sounds impossible, but it has not stopped one man in Effingham as Ryan Burke discovered. This guy sounds inspirational. He definitely is inspirational. As you can see from right here, his painting is pretty incredible. Now, Scott Daters has cerebral palsy and all his life has struggled to find ways to express himself. But now that he's discovered a unique way to paint, his artwork is able to speak for itself. There's something about an autumn evening in the country that has the power to inspire your creative side. And inside this house, inspiration is striking Scott Daters. And while it isn't his hand taking to the canvas, it's his creativity that's in control. It helps me express ideas that I cannot express in other ways. A desire to express emotion, beauty, and thoughts on paper. Using different colors and techniques helps me to express myself. Canvas to go vertically or horizontally? You want it vertically? Not being able to use your arms has a way of making painting tough, but Scott and his family were determined to find a way. Your color choices, Scott. I don't know if I want to put those together. We did a lot of what's called hand over hand technique, which is basically just like it sounds. You, you put your hand on his and you kind of help him, which worked out really well. But at the same time, it's not really his idea then. So I read an article in the Reader's Digest, actually, about a guy who had developed a technique similar to this one and just started emailing back and forth, and he gave me all kinds of ideas. It's a technique that's all about cooperation with his sister. Red, reddish, purple. Scott straps a laser on the side of his head, and he basically calls every shot. So we start with canvases. We'll hold up a few different sizes, and Scott will decide which size he wants to use. Um, we'll decide if he's going to put it vertical or horizontal. And from colors to patterns to images painted, Scott is in the driver's seat. And he calls every shot. I am only there to follow his direction, which he loves the best. Okay, Scott, I'm going to lay out any of the reds that I can find here. As his painting has taken off, so is his desire to put it to good use by sharing his work with the community and sharing a message of inspiration. We've been to St. Louis, Lake of the Ozarks, several schools and meetings and in several newspapers. It's awesome to meet people who are interested in my paintings. A story of determination. And as another painting nears completion, another opportunity for expression comes to life. Sometimes people don't understand what I'm trying to say and my artwork helps me express that. Scott Daters, proving that if a picture can be worth a thousand words, Good job. painting one can be worth a million. What an inspiring story. Scott says he appears in art shows and community festivals all across the area. He also has a Facebook page, which I'll link you to up on our website. And really just such an interesting way to kind of see not only his ability to paint, but kind of his way to shatter stereotypes about people with disabilities, particularly people who are not verbal, uh, to kind of yes. see what they're able to, to accomplish. It's, it's incredible. Yes. Way to go, Scott. Such a range. Like yes, you saw kind of the Jackson Pollock mm -hmm. type in there and then the, the solid bars and here you have a shape, mm -hmm. the sun was in there. I mean, he, he clearly, he's not a, a one-trick pony. Here. No, yeah. he's got Definitely a lot of has, vision. has a vision for sure. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. All right, Great well, thanks, stuff. Ryan. You bet. All right.